stay low. Hello skaters, I'm here on ice, but I'd like to talk to you a little bit about inline skating. Uh, I'm just putting out a tutorial in a couple of days called Are You Leaking Power? And there's two very simple tenets of that. And I found that when I demonstrated it, I wasn't quite there. We always think we're skating so low and then we look at the footage and it's like, what's fucking wrong with my knees? Are you leaking power? You might feel like your leg bend is deep and you're consciously trying to skate low. But real stride power and length is not about how low you can get, it's about how low you can stay. There are two very obvious signs that you're leaking power, but first let's talk about what is ideal for the street skater. Here I am staying low and my head is not moving up or down or side to side very much which means I'm applying strong pressure from the start to the end of the stride, as well as getting a little double push off the outside edge of the returning skate. When my head is still, I know I'm applying more force in my lengthened stride from beginning to end. So two signs that you're leaking power. Number one, of course, is your head is moving up and down. And number two is that your whole body is tick-tocking from side to side. To me, the tick-tocking seems like a way to complete the stride pattern in a quicker or less taxing way, but it results in a shortened stride and creates unnecessary work for the core and spinal muscles. This habit occurs in skaters who have just not tried to hold that head position more still, or it may be a sign of strength or mobility deficiencies in the hip. So the wrong way to stride would be to let yourself push out as you're pushing off with this. It really shortens that stride. So I'll show you the difference. Your pelvic and hip muscles are surprisingly challenged by clearing the pavement on the return of the deep long stride. As you get deeper you will have to gain more control of the lateral tilt of your pelvis for the stride return in that low posture. You can strengthen your hip flexors and legs for this by simply skating as deep as you can for a few minutes every session. It's really that simple. That's a great start. When I sprint, I'm even stingier about my lateral head movement. When my head is still and centered, it means my feet are hitting the pavement so quickly and concussively that I'm not transferring my weight from side to side. I'm propelling my body like a projectile with my short, quick, explosive strides. As my stride lengthens and I get deeper, I allow for a complete weight shift on each stride. In full stride, there is lateral head movement, but my pelvis is actually covering significantly more distance. I take my head movement seriously on crossovers as well. If my head is bobbing up and down, it means my legs are not bent enough, and I'm not dealing with the terrain as sensitively and powerfully as I should. On crossovers, it's easy to allow the pelvis to dip inward, which will lengthen and throw off your outside stride. So even more awareness to bent knees and engaged core is needed during crossovers. Keeping my head as level as possible is an important efficiency in assault skating or city skating. Rather than hopping on and off obstacles, I like to spring and fold myself as I go over. Then unfold into a skating position on the other side. Sometimes, if I do this right, I feel like I've eaten up the obstacle with an unaffected stride. It seriously reduces the amount of energy it takes to propel me over an obstacle and the amount of force I must absorb on the other side. My head will move as obstacles get bigger, but it does not travel vertically as much as the skates. If I want to minimize the urban landscape and skate as if it were smooth, my legs need to be the shock absorbers that keep my head in steady cam mode. I love the feeling when my body is in perfect balance and my head is smoothly leading the way like a heat-seeking missile. That's it, all quite simple and something you can change for the better in just one session. Keep your head still and stay low and your body will sort out the rest. Let me thank you in advance for hitting the subscribe and notification button. And thanks for all the encouragement you've been giving me subscribers and viewers. I notice these things. And thanks for being so nice to each other. It makes making videos much more fulfilling when I know the dialogue in the comments below the video is going to be inspirational. So yes, that's it. Aim high and stay low, fellow skaters. Stay low.